I'm the genius Asian. Welcome to the genius family. We noticed that water was dripping from our disposal underneath our kitchen sink. So we had to figure out where it was coming from. Now, it appeared to be leaking from the red reset button that's on the bottom of the disposal. However, we, before being sure that this was the case, we needed to check some other things. First step was to unplug the power. Make an inspection of your disposal starting at the top. Start up with the, where the sink and the flange meet, then move down to where the flange meets the disposal, the disposal connection to the dishwasher, the disposal connection to the drain. Feel all of these, feel each of them to see if you feel any moisture. So again, you wanna inspect all over the disposal starting from top down to bottom because you want to be sure of where the leak is actually coming from because that is the, how you know which parts you need to remove or disconnect. We did not detect any moisture on the outside of the disposal at any of these other points. Therefore, we concluded that the leak was probably inside the disposal and coming out through that red button. Therefore, our next step was to open the disposal by removing the bottom portion of the disposal. This disposal was being held together with three very long screws. However, to remove the screws, you need to use not a screwdriver, but rather a nut driver. You can see what the top of this screw looks like. Now, the top of the screw is in a somewhat awkward position. Neither pliers nor wrench driver would fit at the lower point. The screw itself is not all that tight, but in order to move it at all, we had to build up this kind of device using the two nut drivers and then using the wrench once the height had been raised to where you see it now. And uh, very easy to come out with hand. Is this this long? Wow. Once you've removed the screws, you can pry the lower half off from the upper half. Be careful, this thing is heavy. Next, we checked around the rubber gasket that is where the, at the base of the flywheel or where the flywheel is sitting on top of the motor because sometimes gaskets deteriorate so possibly the leak was coming through there. From our visual inspection of the gasket, it did not appear that the gasket had been dislodged or was leaking in any way. Then, we inspected the flywheel, and you can see right here that there is rust and deterioration. In fact, there is a hole right there. And if you turn it over, you'll see that hmm, that hole is directly above that red reset button. Just a quick demonstration of how this flywheel is working inside your disposal. When items have entered the disposal from the top, they are then ground by the flywheel, by the blades you see here, and then it is expelled through this hole in the side. Just in case you've ever wondered what the inside of a disposal motor looks like, we'll show you. See here? This is it. And again, you can take another look inside this chamber and make sure you don't see anything else amiss that might have been causing your leak. And here, this is the top part of the disposal because at this point we've also removed the top part. You can see, of course, that it's quite empty. That's the area where waste that has been put into the disposal will be sitting until you have turned on the flywheel. So when the water is going through that small crack in the flywheel, is coming down into this main part and to the reset button which is directly below that crack. So clearly when the disposal is rusted to this point, you're not going to be able to make a repair. The only real option is to replace it. However, sometimes you may order a disposal, but perhaps you're not going to get it in for a week or a month. So what can you do in the meantime? Something is this rusted, you're probably not going to be able to weld pieces together. You could try using metal epoxy to do a temporary patch in which case it might hold well enough for somebody to use the sink to run water through, although not well enough to continue running the disposal. 
That might be a temporary fix so that the sink can still be used for a short period of time, running water through the disposal. However, if you have a double sink, take a look at how the two sinks are joined underneath. Take a look at the pipes. You'll see that most likely you can still continue to use your other sink. In this case, it happens to be on the left. The left will still drain and joins up at a point below the disposal. So the water will still continue to drain as normal. You just want to be extra careful not to let that sink back up. Remember that your dishwasher is probably also draining through your disposal, so you won't be able to use your dishwasher either if you're just using one of the two sinks. When you're trying to choose a new disposal, you'll see that there is quite a price range. Two things in particular to look at are the horsepower, in other words, how strong a disposal do you want? You can see here from our side that, that there is a range from one half up to one horsepower with the same manufacturer. But the other thing to look at is the warranty. How long a warranty do you think you need? Because that is another point of variation. Of course, you might think that the longer warranty is better. After all, it's not that much more money than the shorter one. However, if there is a time within 20 years that your disposal seems to be leaking or not working and you want to use that warranty, consider that it will take time for you to contact the company and for them to ship you a new one, your sink and disposal, will still be out of commission for a while. Whereas the two-year warranty, you'll probably just end up going to the store and purchasing a new one and have it within a couple of days. Now, you already saw a, sh a short shot of what the top of the disposal looks like. We were showing you that it's just a big open space. Now we're going to show you, in fact, how we detached the top part from the sink. If you're removing the top part of the disposal or the entire thing in one big piece, you'll have to follow these steps. You're going to need to detach the disposal at three points. One is the flange, one is from the dishwasher, and one is from the drain. First, you should detach the disposal from the dishwasher and the drain. There are screws here that you can remove. Next, loosen the three screws that are holding the flange to the sink. Once you have loosened this part, you will be able to twist it and then completely disconnect the disposal from the drain pipe. In order to detach the disposal from the flange, you need to turn the mounting ring. In order to do this, a tool was supplied when you got your disposal, this little tool called a wrenchette. If you no longer have that tool, that's okay. You can use something else, such as a screwdriver. However, it, it can be often on there very tightly, as we found with ours. Just using that wrenchette to try to pry it was not enough. So we used the additional tools that you'll see here. It's kind of a DIY extension of the wrenchette. Then also inserted a metal bar into the opening where the dishwasher had connected. You're probably not too worried at this point about causing damage to the disposal because you intend to replace it anyway. So now we pull off the disposal and all that's remaining is the flange which is sitting in the sink and the mounting ring. If you had earlier determined that your leak was at the point of the flange and the disposal, this is where you would remove the rubber gasket and you can replace that. So you wouldn't have to replace your entire disposal. Cool. To remove the flange from the mounting ring, you will need to remove the snap ring, which is on the bottom of the flange. We're going to show it to you separately where you can see it more clearly. Okay, so this is a close-up. We have actually already removed this from the sink, but put it back together so that you could see it clearly here. Where is the snap ring inside the mounting ring? Now, let's just pause for a minute to think about how this entire assembly is put together and, and how it's actually holding the disposal. You realize that the disposal is attached to the mounting ring. The mounting ring is held to the flange by the snap ring, which is on the bottom of the flange. So in effect, that snap ring is holding the entire thing up, holding it all together. Later on, we'll show you one which has a rubber gasket, since that's what came with our new disposal. Yeah, think about how heavy that disposal is and 
what it is all resting on. Now, if you had deduced that your link was between the sink and the flange, now is when you can take out the flange and then reapply plumber's putty to stick it on again without any leak. To summarize a bit, if you've determined that your leak is up in number one or two between the sink and the flange or between the flange and the disposal, that is when you will remove the entire disposal from the top. If you determined that your leak was five or six from inside the disposal, then you can remove the bottom part of the disposal first to see if there is something that can be fixed. If your leak was around points three or four, then you won't need to remove the disposal. You can simply work on the connection between the disposal and dishwasher or the disposal and the drain. If the problem is the connection between the disposal and the dishwasher, first check the screws to make sure the screws are tight. If you find that the tube has deteriorated somewhat, of course you may need to replace the tube. And then, Number four, if the problem seems to be between the disposal and the drain, first check the screws to make sure the screws are tight, or if that doesn't fix the problem, you may need to check the elbow gasket. You've seen our video about removing a disposal from under the sink. That disposal which we moved is the one that you see here on the left, marked three bolt, the one shown on the right. It has a different mounting system called an easy mount, a three bolt assembly, it's quite strong, however, it does take longer to install and you will need a screwdriver to install and to uninstall. The one on the right is the easy mount. You have a single ring holding the disposal on, so it's very quick to install. However, you may find uh, some years later that it has become very tightly jammed and so when trying to uninstall, you may need some sort of tools to help you uninstall it, large wrenches of some sort. For the actual installation procedures, we'd like to have you view our next video. You can find that link in the des video description below. See how to install both the three bolt and the easy mount. Again, click that link below. Make sure you to like our video. Share this with people who you know that need it. Leave your own genius tips in the comment section below. Don't forget, I'm the Genius Asian. Subscribe for more useful videos.